Hi, my name is Colin Busby. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install a soil sensor array for the Kestrelmet 6000 Ag weather station. The Kestrelmet is a rugged, cost-effective, all-in-one weather station for farming and agriculture. The station comes with all the standard measurements, including wind speed and direction, barometric pressure, relative humidity, temperature, and rainfall. In addition, there are three optional sensors to choose from, leaf wetness, solar irradiance, and the soil sensor array. You can view all the live and log weather data on the Kestrelmet app or the online portal. Today, we are going to focus on the soil sensor array, which measures soil moisture and soil temperature at three different depths. Each probe measures soil water tension using a watermark sensor and soil temperature using a thermistor attached to the top of the watermark sensor. The thermistor provides useful information about soil temperature and also allows for a more accurate measurement of soil water tension. Following a regional checkbook to plan irrigation cycles or waiting until plants show signs of stress can take a major toll on crop yields. On the other hand, overwatering can be costly, deplete water resources, and increase the risk of certain pests and diseases. Monitoring the soil conditions at multiple depths provides the most complete picture of crop health throughout the active root zone. This helps you to optimize irrigation management strategies and ensure that your plants have the right conditions for growing. Probe numbers are marked with zip ties. Here are probes one, two, and three. Probe number three will be displayed as soil moisture three and soil temperature three on your dashboard. Make a note of the depth for each probe and edit the KestrelMet.net dashboard names to include the sensor depth. Plan soil sensor array locations and probe depths according to your application. There are references that provide guidance based on soil type, crop type, and irrigation options. Keep in mind, it's best to install sensors in the most representative spot, making sure to avoid low areas, poor stands, or steep slopes. When conditions permit, watermark sensors should be installed prior to the growing season. There are two options for installation, permanent burial or seasonal placement. Some growers may choose the seasonal placement approach to provide maximum protection for the soil sensor cables. Once you've determined placement, you'll need to prepare the probes for installation. Soak the probes overnight in irrigation water. Several soak dry cycles are recommended for new probes. Now you're ready to begin. Gather your tools and supplies for the sensor installation. Today, we will be demonstrating the seasonal placement installation, which requires connecting the sensors to protective PVC pipes. This is what you'll need. Today, we will be installing the probes in a vineyard, and based on the soil profile, the probe depths will be 12, 24, and 36 inches. Cut one inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe to the desired lengths and mark the target depths. Notch pipe at the top end, feed each probe through the corresponding pipe and install each cap. Secure the probe to the other end of the pipe with the adapter coupling and included screws. PVC cement can be used for additional strength and is recommended for clay rich soils. Once the probes have been prepared, it is time to drill or core holes in the ground. The goal is to provide good contact between the probe and the surrounding soil, and to disturb that soil as little as possible. Drill an inch and a quarter hole for the PVC pipe, and at the bottom of that, a 7 eighths inch hole to the desired probe depth. Prepare two cups of a soil slurry with no rocks or organic matter, in a bucket or a plastic bag. Pour the slurry into the hole to a depth of two to three inches. Insert the soil probe into the hole and press into the slurry. <music> Pour
pour the remaining slurry into the edges along the top of the hole and tamp down. Before connecting the soil sensor array, flip the power switch on the underside of the station to the off position. Remove the black protective cap from the silver aux sensor connector on the underside of the station. Align the ridge on the inside of the station connector with the channel on the soil sensor array connector. Press the two fittings together as you screw the threaded metal coupling together. You should feel detent ridges as the threads are tightened together completely. A completely tightened fitting may still have some thread showing between the two sides of the coupling like this. Once the coupling is tight, the station can be powered on and will begin transmitting soil temperature and soil water tension data. Some growers choose to use conduit pipe or split loom sheathing to protect the cables from accidental damage and from animals. The white housing of the soil array sensor can be attached to the lower section of the station mast using the provided zip ties. Take care to attach it so that there is no tension on the cable going to the station or on the cables connecting the soil probes. Now that your soil sensors are set up, you can monitor the conditions throughout the growing season to manage irrigation. Soil water tension is displayed in units of centibars on the KestrelMet dashboard. This value is used in conjunction with information about the soil type to determine how much water is available to your plants. Consult your local ag extension specialist or refer to the help links on kestrelmet.net backslash support for further information. Watermark probes can take a few weeks to equilibrate with the surrounding soil. Look for consistent readings around 10 centibar at field capacity saturation, which is after heavy rains or irrigation. As the soil dries, the uppermost sensor value should rise the fastest. Visit KestrelMet.com for more product information and farming resources. Go to our YouTube page to find additional tutorials and product support videos.